cards, I can feel the damn thing moving in my head. It's sickening. Dying. Won't be long now. Besides, not turning into a mind flare is a little higher on my list of priorities. I'm telling you, I have time, but I lose some whenever you stop to chat. I understand the process, thank you. I am not turning today. Come on, let's go. Quite the thousand-yard stare on this one. As Morden Canaan wrote in one of his letters from Barovia, ignorance is hardly bliss, but it's certainly the safer option. Hey! Hey! You hear me? Guess not. This box is infernal. It comes from hell itself. And if not, maybe leave me and the box of diabolic promises alone. Hmm? But first... We have some cranial squatters I'd rather like to get rid of. My research was more focused on process than cure. I know what it's doing in my head, but I can't imagine how to stop it. Fine. If you insist on knowing, this box is sealed with dark, infernal magic. It's not cursed. It comes from hell itself. A wise move, my friend. A wise move. We should survive if we find a skilled healer, but the chances of that are... That's why I have to open it. To find out who was promised what, and stop whatever catastrophe it's going to spark. <sighs> you know, on some level that's rather comforting. I've spent long enough answering questions about that box. What are you waiting for? Help me kill that thing! In the meantime, I'm going to be doing my damnedest to survive, thank you very much. You... I mean, I certainly appreciate the thought, but we have more pressing concerns. Destroy it. Have you lost your mind? It's my business and mine alone. Well, I'm afraid they're in the hands of the gods. Any tiefling could tell you it's diabolic. But I've seen this kind of case before. It, it's important that I open it as quickly as possible. Fine, just, just please. Don't take too long. But hopefully I'll find a healer before... Well, before you get the chance to kill a mind flare mid-transformation. Thanks. I really don't mean to be a bother, it's just... I study devils, trying to find a link to my... Well, my ancestors' past. I've seen more than a few infernal artefacts. Some false goddess, I suppose. But no worshippers to be seen. Must be lonely. Fine. You're a tiefling. I assume you already know this box is infernal, that it comes from hell. You said we'd head back out. Where are you going? This is an infernal artefact, a box containing the pact between a devil and... Well, I, I don't know who. So, it looks like we're in this together. All the more reason to hurry along, I'd say. I will not. Never. No! I must open it, but... Without a wizard's laboratory or some demon ecor, there's no way to do it. A lot of artifacts escape from hell, but this... I've seen this design before. It's... It's important that I open it as quickly as possible. Get out of my head! Have you lost your mind? Absolutely not! Destroying this without knowing the terms of that pact could have consequences for our whole plane of existence. It's hardly important to you, is it? <laughs> this one's beyond help. What are we exploring a ruin for? We really shouldn't be wasting our time on this. I want to let it go. I want to let the box go! Fine, just... Just please, don't take too long. You couldn't possibly know what it's like. No. No, I don't! This place looks abandoned. We really shouldn't waste our time here. God, I can feel the damn thing moving in my head. It's, it's sickening, isn't it? And devil pacts, well, they normally mean someone's been promised unimaginable power. And that always means people are going to suffer. Not that any of it will matter if I don't get this tadpole out of my head. I'm sure they'll find you just as charming as I do. I appreciate the sentiment, I do, but I need to do this alone. Well, good. 
Maybe you'll be able to bring her your own head once you turn into a mind flare. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Or rather, wriggling concerns. But once we're free of these pollywogs, my research was more focused on process than cure. I have a reasonable sense of what the little creature is doing in our skulls, but no idea how to stop it. Well, we'll see. If we stumble across a wizard's laboratory or a nice pile of demon eco, then do let me know. That's why I must find a wizard's lab and open it, to see who's behind this, and to stop whatever catastrophe they're going to cause. You what? <laughs> it's where I keep my formal horns and tail, just in case we stumble across any royal balls. No, I... I hate you! Too far gone. Nothing I can do. Not that any of it will matter if we don't get these tadpoles out of our heads. Let the box go. And the longer we stand here arguing, the deeper that tadpole gets into your head. So let's deal with one disaster at a time, shall we? But first, I have a cranial squatter I'd rather like to evict. Ah, I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but one of your kind, well, it's a little poetic. A box like this contains a diabolical pact, an important one, if the design is to be trusted. The last time I saw one of these, it contained a devil's pact, a promise made in exchange for tremendous power. I'd ask you not to judge a tome by its bindings. The box is small, but within it lies a devil's pact. Aren't you tired of talking about this yet? Shah, the mistress of the night. Best not to look in her eyes. Well, I wish you the best. If you do find one, uh, threaten to cut them in half. You are not destroying this. <laughs> Doesn't even know I'm here. And the longer we stand here arguing, the deeper that tadpole gets into my head. So, let's deal with one disaster at a time, shall we? Oh, with pleasure. If you need me, I'll be saving myself from a horrible tentacle-filled fate. Got it. Well, I'm very much concerned. I'd rather not have my city dragged to hell or whatever this promises. <laughs>